moms, this is for you. I have decided that the importance of which a human being needs to go on a vacation is directly related to one, being a mother, and two, the age of your child from zero up. <laughs> My kids are three and a half and one, and I am beyond in desperate need of a vacation. So I took it upon myself to book an impromptu trip to Miami. I'm really pumped and I am going to be packing because I leave in just over, I don't know, like 36 hours and I've been doing laundry all week. I think what I've noticed about moms needing to go on vacation it's always the week leading up to your vacation that is like the most ridiculous and so um my nanny is off this week I am just so overloaded with work and trying to do anything while taking care of two kids full-time it is absolutely insane and on top of that I obviously have to pack but um the good part about it is <laughs> Any mom guilt that I was going to have is absolutely out the window. I do not feel any kind of way about leaving. I'm so excited and my kids are going to be fine without me and I'm going to be better for it uh, upon my return. I'm getting ready for a quick weekend getaway to Miami and I wanted to show you guys what I am packing. I have always been a more minimalist packer. I pack pretty much just the amount of things that I need with like one extra of each item. So I'm going to show you guys what I am taking with me and it is actually super hot this week here in Michigan which is great because I am totally ready and in the zone for Miami and it's also good because I have been able to kind of see what I'm comfortable wearing here because it's been in the 90s and super humid. I will be absolutely ready for the Miami heat. I will also have a pretty good idea of what I need to wear each day. We're not planning on doing a whole lot. <laughs> I am going to visit a girlfriend of mine. We have a spa day planned. We might do some other stuff. We're definitely going to check out some hot spots for dinner. But for the most part, I just need to just like get away and chill. So I am mostly packing chill athleisure and a few outfits to wear out to nice dinners just to kind of celebrate, dress up, enjoy my time away. I'll show you guys what I have and you can also see everything that I pack, which is honestly not a lot. I don't like hauling a ton of stuff, so you can kind of see how I pick and choose. All right, let's get packing. Okay, so I like to start with the fun stuff first, and that is evening clothes for dinner. <laughs> so my go-to is Rent the Runway. So I wanted to show you the things that I have rented for this trip. They are all of my go-to evening looks. So we're probably only going out to dinner two nights. So I have three dresses, which gives me an opportunity to have backup because you never know how you're going to feel. So the first one is, I don't know who this is by. I'll show you guys the dress and then I um, will also see let me try to get a better angle, actually. Okay, I thought this was adorable when I saw it. And I the thing I love about Rent the Runway is you can see kind of customer reviews. I have tried this on. It's adorable. On one side, it has a little drawstring. And it's got this, like, travel passport, which is so cute. This print is, like, adorable. So I'm really excited to wear this. And... This will d most likely be making the cut for one of my evening looks. All right, the second dress is actually the same brand. The brand is Meow, and so that's what the first one is as well. And this is so cute. It is a lavender with like a neon orange. And this is like a mesh. And it's basically just a few layers of the mesh, which is really cool. 
and it has ruching, it's midi length, it's fabulous. I love it. So this is really cute too. And between the second two looks, I have no idea which one I'm going with, but this one is midi, the other one is mini. So we'll see how I feel and kind of what I decide. All right, this is my mini Miami look. This is by Waverly Gray. This is my third option from Rent the Runway. It is ruched the whole way through. It's got adorable little ruffle sleeves and a little ruffle hem. I tried it on. It's definitely mini. <laughs> so we'll see how I feel if I'm feeling like Orange Leopard uh, when the time comes. So those are my three options for evening, dinner, cocktail, fun. So typically how I pack is I basically just go through my things and decide what I'm taking um, based on what I know we're doing. So I already have my three options for dinner, evening looks chosen, and now I need a couple of day outfits and some things for pool days. So I absolutely know I'm taking this because I love this cover up. It is adorable. It's so tropical and it always feels fun and festive. So I'll definitely be taking that. And I also have a pair of, here they are. These are cover-up uh, slacks, pants, whatever you call them. Uh, they are sheer. They have a split in the hem, which is really cute. So you can see they're super sheer. They're definitely for cover-up, which is adorable. This would look really cute with a white button-down kind of open in the front. So that might be an option as well, but I definitely love those pants. You can wear them with just your bathing suit, bikini, one piece, whatever. They're great. I also have this other cover up. So both of these cover ups are by LeBlanca. And this one, which is in desperate need of steaming, is shorts and it is adorable. It is white. It has a little tie at the waist, which is really cute. Sleeveless, little eyelet detail, which I like. So I'm most likely taking that too. The good thing about this white cover up is it's not super sheer. So you can actually wear this as an outfit. So in Miami, this actually might work for a great daytime outfit with some cute sandals, accessories, jewelry, kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. So I'm going to steam this and definitely take this for a daytime outfit option. Okay, so this is everything that is hanging that I'm taking. So now I'm gonna go over and see what items from my drawers that I am going to take. And that probably includes laundry, which means this task is not gonna get done tonight. Tomorrow, I'm going to tackle the rest of my outfits, toiletries, all that good stuff. And we'll see what else I can get together. But. I think that's all for tonight. I have work to do still. My last child is not asleep yet. So we're going to cut it and we're going to continue this packing journey tomorrow and the countdown will continue. Okay, so I'm laying everything out. I've got dresses, undergarments, tops, shorts, my one piece romper, cover ups, swimsuits. We're only planning on one pool day, so I'm bringing three swimsuits, <laughs> so I have options. And then I wanted to show you guys this adorable nightgown. I got it from Amazon. I saw it on like an Amazon must-haves list. It's so cute. It's, I think you just search like ruffled nightgown or something, but it's adorable. It's cotton with a little stretch. It is so comfortable and cool because it's been so hot. Um, and I love pajamas, so this was a really cute nightgown that I liked. So now that I've got everything set out, I can get my shoes and my accessories together because I can kind of see what I've got now. Okay, so these are the shoes that I am packing, 
And then I'll also have a pair of sandals that tie around my ankle for the airport because I don't really want to wear slides at the airport in case I have to like walk quickly <laughs> at any point. I want to have some kind of support. So I've got some evening shoes. The second pair of slides with the B can really be evening or day. The third pair that are velvet can be evening or actually all of these can be evening or day, which is good because I don't really want to pack a ton of shoes because they take up so much space. So I'm going to pack these four and then the pair that I'm wearing are a little bit chunkier. So it's good that I'm wearing those. Okay, now I'm going to get everything in shoe bags so my shoes don't mess anything up that is in my purse. Oh, so these are by Nick and Zoe and they're so cute. They have like ostrich feathers on them. So they're super fun. I love these for summer, even though they're black, just because the feather and the mule is just so fun and festive. So I really like these shoes and I'm excited to take them and wear them. These second pair of sandals are by Schultz, Schultz, Schultz. I never know how to pronounce that, but it's so cute because they have a little bumblebee and then like a little flower. I honestly wear these all the time. I'm wearing them out. I've been searching online to try to find an identical pair, which I am having a really hard time finding, which is crazy because I would just like another pair of these. Uh, they're fabulous and I'm wearing them out. So I would like another. Um, this shoe bag is great because it has, I don't know if you can see this, it has compart two compartments down here so you can put the separate shoes in and then you can put more shoes on top. So then your shoes in the bag don't even touch, which is great. So I'm gonna put these Sam Edelman. These are satin navy blue slides, which I really like also for daytime and evening. Like I said, I am going super casual, so all of my shoes are flats, and it's going to be fabulous. And then the last pair, these are actually um, the newest of all of the pairs that I'm taking. These are by Dolce Vita. They are velvet, um, and I love them. <laughs> they remind me of like old school house shoes, and so I just love the vibe. It's so cute. So I might wear these on like the pool day. I don't know and have like a pool vibe day. So that's my shoes. This is a portable laundry bag, which I absolutely love. It folds up into this little square and then you can pop it out and put all of your dirty clothes in it, which I absolutely love love take this every time i travel and these are new i got them for my birthday which is such a cute gift from a girlfriend of mine it is kind of two little jewelry boxes this one can kind of nest inside of the other so i will show you how i pack my jewelry these are amazing i love them i highly recommend them because Putting your jewelry in a bag and hoping that it doesn't get all tangled is a recipe for disaster. So I'll show you how I pack everything up. I also keep all of these little bags that, you know, random pieces of jewelry come in when you buy them at boutiques and stuff, and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so I've got all my jewelry that I threw in here that I'm taking, and what I do is I'll just grab a bag, I'll grab a piece of jewelry, so a pair of earrings, put them in my little bag, and boom, and then I'll open this one so you guys can see what it looks like too. This pouch is for rings and small earrings. So I have a couple of those that I'm gonna pop in. The two rings I'm taking actually don't fit in these little ring pieces. They're actually really, really snug, which I understand because it's for travel, so your rings don't fly out. But I'm just gonna tuck those few little pieces in right here and keep packing my other jewelry in the bags. I've got everything packed up. I left out the jewelry that I'm wearing tomorrow so I don't forget to put it on. And 
Now I'm just gonna tuck everything in here and we will be ready to go. It can seem like overkill to put all these bags in all these bags, but trust me, when, at the expense of your stuff being tangled, it is totally worth the while. And then the other box just nests right on top and I can put it in, zip it up, and I'm good to go. Okay, so I rolled everything. I put my bathing suits and undergarments in the zipper pouch, put my shoes down the bottom, rolled everything else, and I have a little space for my makeup and toiletries. So let's see how that works out. I also realized when planning and packing for this trip that I only have carry-ons and like huge, I'm going on vacation for two weeks bags. I don't have anything in the middle. And so although I'm checking this bag, I, it is small. <laughs> so I'm kind of seeing, I have a hole in my uh, luggage collection because I don't have something that is larger than a carry-on, but not, I'm going, you know, across Italy for two weeks. So I need to figure that out. I almost forgot, a robe and lounge pants. Do you ever get on vacation and realize you packed all these clothes and you have nothing to sit around in? That happens to me all the time. So I was determined to not forget this cute little fun satiny robe with matching lounge pants because this is great for just sitting around in the mornings. Sometimes you don't want to sit in your pajamas, but you need something to put on that's not clothes. So packing this. These are all my toiletries. My makeup and brushes are in these bags. Uh, flat iron, deodorant, hair brushes, hair, you know, pins and scrunchies. I am notorious for get, forgetting my toothbrush because you always need to brush your teeth the morning you leave and I will usually not pack it and say, oh, after I brush my teeth, I'll put it in my bag and that never happens. So. The only time I remember it is if I pack it and then I get it out of my bag to brush my teeth. So that's just what I have to do. And then I've got my Fenty Skin Trio. So this is what I wash my face with, my makeup removing um, cloth. And this is my bag that I take in my purse or in my carry-on or whatever's going with me in the plane. And I put my eye mask, a like lip mask, and my earplugs. I use these to sleep every single night, but I also like to have them on the plane. So I put them in this little Toomey pouch along with an ink pen, hand sanitizer. I usually put my charger in here. And then this little bag can go in my purse or whatever carry-on bag that I'm taking. I'm also notorious for forgetting my phone charger, which I have no solution for besides have an extra that I can pack ahead of time. I put my hair things in the zippered pouch and then everything else just basically gets thrown in here. I am not super organized when it comes to toiletries. I honestly normally forget most of my toiletries and making this video is actually really helpful in remembering everything because normally I'm like, oh, this seems like everything and then I don't have face wash or deodorant or a toothbrush. <laughs> all right, it's all in. And it's good that I'm checking this bag because I would not want to lift it into the overhead compartment. So now I'm ready to go. I realized that I forgot my purses. So <laughs> now I have a dilemma, but it's okay. I'm gonna get everything in here. I'm just gonna move some of these clothes around, get this down in here and we'll get it all back in. Now we are good to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed my packing video. I hope it was helpful and you got to see some of the things that I take on a super restorative and relaxing vacation to Miami for a long weekend. Let me know if any of the things helped. If you wanna learn more about any of the items that I packed, I'm happy to give you more information. And I hope you get to go on your own restorative vacation very soon.